Hey guys, it's Anne, and today I have a special treat for you. We are at Lainey's Beach Cottage by the Cape. I mean, whoa. You guys have seen Lainey's house. We've gone there a few times and it's amazing. We've gone to her store, Country Bumpkins, and this house is everything that you would want it to be. So why don't you come tour it with me? This is the house. Isn't that pretty? It's got a bunting in the front and Cape Cod sign and that cute little shell thing. And else it's really simple. I love the color blue that she has this painted. And I love these trees. Aren't they gorgeous? Everything is beautiful. cute little porch. Let's see what other great things she has out here. Pretty plant. Hey Tom. table's cool with a wagon wheel. It's a wagon wheel table. That reminds me of when Harry met Sally. <laughs> this is beautiful. What a cool piece. And of course a lobster trap because you just can't be by the ocean in New England without a lobster trap. And then down here, there's this darling little yard. Tom has already put our bikes in here. I love the picket fence. A little shed. That's a nice little shed, actually. Great little garden shed. And let's see what we have back here. Beautiful trees around this property. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Love it. And look at this. This is beautiful. All set up for a fire. Did you do this too, Lainey? It's like all set up for a fire with... <laughs> this is great. This is just great. Oh, man. It's all about the details. A little fish, plants. Check out the back of the house. Cedar shakes, grayed from the weather. I love the star shutters. And another table and chairs and super comfortable. Really nice in the back. That's overlooking a playground. A statue. Very fun. It's really fun to see how Lainey decorates for the beach. She's got such a great eye for decor and she really pulls it out with the farmhouse and the primitive styles. And this is her way of putting the beach and the primitive all together. So this is super fun really neat. All right, we're going to go in the house now. I can see that Tom already has. Welcome. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to remove my shoes. This is absolutely beautiful. So check out this kitchen. This is cute. She even has these knobs. Like starfish and what are these called? I forgot. This is so cute. 
everything that you need right here. You don't need a really big kitchen for a cottage, but it's big enough. It's big enough to have everything you need there and to cook, but you don't need the big ones. And Lainey, look, she left me chocolate chip cookies and a little smiling crab. So cute. Look at this, another little crab. Darling. Oh, I can hardly wait to eat one of those cookies. Can I do it while we're touring? I'm going to. Because, you know, let's make it authentic. Mmm. All right, so we've got this really cute wicker table over here with glass and shelves there. All painted white, an anchor theme going on here in the front room, so boats and anchors. All right, so do you see that there's a very basic theme going on here? She's got the white wicker and the blue. So it's all white and blue with a touch of red. Very beach housey. Big picture of a boat, all blue, same colors, matching the couch. house sign. Check out the curtains. They totally have a sailing away theme. Love them. And of course, every living room needs a whale if you're at the beach. And I love the big shutters. Over here, we have a beautiful cabinet. Again, painted blue and white with just some nautical tchotchkes. Really, really cute. And a TV for those rainy days. And Lady is so full of love. I love that you love me over the door. Very sweet, very sentimental. Check out this floor, this is really cool. I think it might be tile. Love the floor. This is so cute. Little guest bedroom. Wow. You know, I live in a primitive farm, but my dream has always been a beach house from the time I was a kid. Look at these great details. And this room, again, has a theme, kind of a sandy colored wall. Anchors, everything beachy, nautical, white, summer. Love the oars, that's really cool. Lots of oars in here, fish. neat wagon wheel like a steering wheel from a boat love the clock another oar in the corner and here that could almost be something you'd see in Florida right really cute You really could almost transfer this to a Florida room. It's absolutely lovely. I know that some of you viewers have been upset because you're in Florida and it's hard to find that perfect mixture. Lainey's Cottage might be your answer. Let's see what we have over here. We've got a nice whale. And I'm thinking this is a bathroom. I can find the light. Oh, isn't that darling? 
Oh, so cute. I love these whales. Wow. Oh, look at this. Cute. Lainey's house always makes me sing. And here's a primitive cabinet right here in the bathroom and the nautical bathroom. So this is a perfect mixture of ocean and primitive. The yellow provides a lot of lightness and everything is about the details. Everything's about the details. Another nice old cabinet. I'm gonna turn on the lights and go upstairs. These stairs are beautiful. And at the top of the stairs is this really cute, I don't know what you'd call it, some kind of cupboard. This blue, it's all the blue and white and sandy color. That's how you pull this off. Beautiful. Beautiful guest room. Wow. Oh, is this cute? So this is a great example of grandeur and simplicity all at the same time. The simplicity is in the color combination and the grandeur is in the headboards. The simplicity is in the bedding. Some of the grandeur is in the delicate nature of the pillows and the lampshade. We always have to pay special attention to the curtains at Ladies. These are wonderful. They work because they're texture. They almost remind you of a fishing net. Cute picture. Now check this out. This is crazy. This is like a snow fence or a beach fence on a sand dune. It's a piece of a beach fence on the wall. How cool is that? Come over here. And ladies' hallways are always amazing. So we're gonna flip on the light, see what's in here. More details. Seriously cute. Wow. What a cute cupboard. Do you notice all the themes of the shutters like this? We saw it outside on the birdhouse. Now we're seeing it inside as doors on this cupboard. I bet a lot of us have some of those that we could use for something really cute. All right, we gotta check this out because I know this is gonna be darling. Oh, cuteness. Oh, this is so cute. Seabirds. Anchor lamps. And a whole collection of seabirds up here. Sandwiched by a couple beach prints on this really cool shelf. Isn't that cool? And I love these curtains. The same blue that's going on in the rest of the room with this twine. They're perfect. They give you such a good amount of texture. 
It's all this roping. Look at the roping on the lights. The roping on the bed. And I really love this color blue. I love the finish on that dresser. So cute. Really, really cute. Love that gate thing. That's just says that little purse hanging up there. Darling. Wow. Back into the hallway. Then over here would be the bathroom. Really cute. Washer and dryer. I like this. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's an idea. And a shower. And then again, blue cupboards. This is what we have going here is a lot of blue cupboards. Love the blue and yellow and the skylight looking out to the trees. Everything is perfect. Amazing. Down to that rug. Now this kind of carpet, this Berber, is something that I've used a lot in my houses that had carpet. And I think it just works really well. It wears well. It's nice and neutral and it works with a lot of styles. how we spent our weekend. Thank you, Lainey. This has been a beautiful time exploring the coast of New England. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you soon. Bye.